Hey everybody, welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. Thanks a lot for joining. We're off into a weekend here. I am super excited. I am in one parking lot here and I'm gonna take my car over to the Amazon Fresh parking lot and then we're gonna do a smart summon from there. All right, so we are dialed in and all I need to do to take off is double tap on the right drive stock. So from here, let's see how well it does. All right, the car immediately takes off. Not, it's hesitating, it doesn't know whether to go left or right, but then finally decides to go left, which is the right direction. Now it has to go around some of these parked cars to find its way out of the parking lot. It says creeping forward, checking for visibility. Coming up here, there's a person crossing the road, but they're far away from us, so the car shouldn't mind at all. And there we go, it moves forward, no problem. A little bit hesitant getting out of the parking space, but other than that, not an issue at all. Coming up here, it's slowing down and then it's gonna to have to accelerate forward. It always does this when it moves out onto a main road, it really steps on the accelerator. So here we are now on Gulf Road, which is a 45 mile per hour speed limit. And it is speeding up, but not as fast as I thought it would have. So now we need to get all the way over to the left. Let's see if it can do this. It has to go quickly and it is missing it. So I did have to take over there, unfortunately. And I'll show you here why, because it would have totally missed the left turn. So that was a, a problem. I'm going to report that. And okay, now here we go. We have to get all the way over to the right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, yes, okay, yes. We got lucky. That guy's turning right there. We need to get over one more. Come on, you can do this. Oh my gosh, it's going to miss it. So I did have to take over there again. Uh, so it's clearly written out here. I mean, you can see right there very clearly where it needs to go and yet it totally didn't get over to the right turn lane really disappointing there so we're going to park the car in a location that will allow me to summon it so when you are uh, preparing to summon or you know that you may be summoning your car when you come out of a restaurant or a, a grocery store or wherever it is you, you should really plan where you're going to park strategically plan where you're going to park because if you just park anywhere like for example let me just give you an example here. If I had parked, let me just go back over to where I was. And I'll, this is a perfect example of why you need to plan ahead. So right here, okay? If I had parked my car right here, what would happen is the summon would, would turn itself on. I'm, I just pushed the wrong button there. It would turn itself on and it would start going this way, okay? This path in this parking lot is one direction, okay? All the cars are pointing this way. And I'm, I'm driving this way very carefully, just make sure no one's coming. But yeah, take a look at all these cars. I love it, there's some Teslas. There's a Model X right there. Um, this, this is a path that comes only one way. Now my car, if you're summoning it, it would, happy-go-lucky, not a care in the world, it would go down that path because it chooses the shortest path possible to get to its destination. So when I say planning, what I mean is finding a, a spot where it's not going to it's not going to break the law or you know get in a crash or conflict with other people so this is a perfect spot okay this is this is actually really perfect so I'm next to a curb and when it gets out of this spot it it needs to avoid the curb but I'm not cl that close to the curb so again I'm planning it very very strategically here all right guys I always get a little bit nervous when I do this this could end in a complete disaster or it could end off a complete success. You never know. All right, so my car is somewhere over there. Usually before I do this, I try to make sure I know exactly where it is so I can keep a very close eye on it. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, but it's like way over there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is open up the little steering wheel icon right now. And what that's gonna do is pull open this circle. So as long as we are Within this radius, we're able to connect and then summon the car. So I think it's a 200 foot radius. Okay, so as you can see, we are within the radius. That blue dot is me, and that red arrow is the car. So it is displaying it accurately. I'm up here next to the store and everything looks like it matches. So I always confirm and then I hit this people button. What that does is it allows me then to summon the car. I can hit the come to me button and the car will start to come. So we're gonna see 
how well it does it here. So just a quick glance around, this parking lot's a little bit busy. I mean, it's busier than the gym parking lot. Let me put it that way. Like we've got another car coming in here. There's a lot of unpredictable things happening in this parking lot. So <laughs> this is what makes me nervous. Like, look at this, here comes a car right here. So if my car interrupts with someone else, I will have to run out and uh, grab my car. But the hope is that it's gonna come all the way down that aisle and then land right here in front of us and pick us up. So again, look at these cars. They're just pouring out of here. So this makes me nervous, but we're gonna try it out anyway. All right, so here we go, guys. <sighs> deep breaths, deep breaths. All right, all I, have to, all I have to do is hit the come to me button. Okay, you ready? And you hold it down. So I can't see, but my car is moving. Uh, it's over there now, I can see it. It is moving out of its spot. So I don't see my car at all. Just trusting that it's going and doing the right thing. Okay, now I can kind of see the top of the car. Nobody behind the car at the moment, coming down the pathway. Steady, really steady. Coming up and over. Look at that, we got lucky, no cars. We got really lucky, guys. So there it says, hey, I'm here. So now what I do is just come over to the car. And again, as I've mentioned this before, I always keep my, thankfully nobody's here. I love this. So especially when I'm making videos, it's, it takes a lot of time to do this. So I take my key fob, come over here, double tap down. The doors unlock. Now, of course, I could rely on Bluetooth, but when I'm in a rush and somebody's behind me, you never ever want to rely on Bluetooth. All right, so we made it. And now look at that, perfect timing. Someone's coming up right behind us so we can start going. Thanks a lot for watching. If you guys like my videos, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next one.